Well, hello and welcome back to Pemberley. It's another beautiful day on this grand estate. Uh, this is Fairy Fanatic and let's continue our adventure. We're going to, we have, it looks like we have a lesson over here um, on our desk. So let's, let's see what the lesson is. Art appreciation. Oh, okay. Learning about the art in your home has many values. It enhances your general knowledge of art and in many cases improves your knowledge of your ancestry. Additionally, it is quite useful when answering the questions that might be posed by guests as you give them a tour of your home. Ooh, okay. Being able to locate an artwork by name is very valuable when answering questions of a guest. Okay, so we need to find, let me see, a horse and groom outside a porch, I guess. All right, well, let's, I guess we just take this. Can we take this with us? guess not so we're looking for a horse and groom outside a porch all right lay we not we've already looked at all the ones in our room we know that they're sheep so let's check first of all for a horse this, this this wing here has quite a few paintings let's see what this one is okay there's a horse and it looks like a groom. that's the artwork I was looking for Okay, and the next one. Okay, the next one said Mary Richmond. So let's see if we can find a picture that says Mary Richmond on it. Now I know that down here there's a lot of pictures of people. Let's see if we can find one that says Mary Richmond. Wow. Okay, so we have an amazing dinner. I don't know how these people eat this much food. All right, these are guys here. That's a woman. Let's check her. Ah, oh, Mary Richmond. All right. That's the artwork I was looking the next for. Next one is Augusta of Saxagatha. Maybe she's in here too. Oh, wow okay so we've got her too that's the artwork I was looking for and now we need the Reverend Lee Richmond let's see seems like I remember seeing something about a reverend And we're looking around. Can you imagine having these beautiful paintings hanging in your house? They're so wonderful. All right, this guy looks like a reverend if I ever saw one. Okay, there he is, the Reverend Lee Richmond. And that's just the need artwork to... I was looking for. Now we have one more, Mrs. Fitzwilliam Darcy. Now I'm pretty sure that that one is down in the hall again, where the dining room is. got a lot of the family pictures in here. Let's see. I think it's around here somewhere. This looks like it right here. That's the artwork I was looking for. Excellent. It's complete. All right. So, yay. Woohoo. All right. We've got our got our art lesson done. And the next thing I think we probably should do is let's go talk to people. Um, we can try, uh, let's just go see if there's anything that Aunt Catherine and Miss Allen have to say. And they're just in here stitching away and reading. How are you doing? Just fine. Be okay, seeing so you. they don't have Take anything care. to say. Let's go see if we can talk to Kitty. So that means we need to call our horse. And... Go back to our bedroom, and we get pampered. Okay, so let's call. Let's call Martha. Did you ring, Miss? And we need to have. Oh, could you ask our groom if he recognizes this horseshoe? Let's let's do that one. Could you ask our groom if he recognizes this horseshoe? Certainly, Miss. He is well known for his knowledge of all the stock in the area. 
He truly is. As soon as you know something, just leave the note on my desk. I will take it to him directly. Thank wow, you. that's great. Okay, so we're going to find out who that shoe belongs to. And now we have to call her back and ask Did her about getting the horse. Did you ring these? All right, so yes, can you get Martha. the horse? Will you have the groom ready my horse? I plan to do some riding. Yes, miss. All right, so let's go get on Copernicus. And Kitty may know something, because this is the next day, and she may have something to say for herself. Being a big party there, that ah, courtyard. I see you are all ready, Kappa. I love the way we're riding side saddle. That is so awesome. All right, let's go to Lambton. Let's see what Kitty has to say. And we're at the Red Lion Inn. That guy must be staying here at the inn because he's been sitting at that table forever, kind of like Pierre. They're both there. Wow, there's another guy. I wonder if we can talk to any of these other people. I don't think Good we can. Good to see you, Miss Darcy. Good to see you too. You are looking well. Thank you. It is a beautiful day. Indeed, it was a lovely ride over. I hope you have news for me. Not much, but your cousin, Mr. Clement Weatherby, did stop by last night. Wow. I guess let's just ask him, really? Really? Yes. He gave one of his poetry recitals extolling his genius and sharing his newest creation. It wasn't that awful one about the last, was it? The very one. Who? Curiouser and curiouser. Just the word I was thinking of. I believe he threw a copy of his poem into the dustbin when he was through, and everyone cheered. I'm not sure if they were cheering for the poem or for his action. <laughs> Do you think it is there still? I believe so. Did you notice if Clement talked to Pierre? No, Clement was far too involved with his poetry to really spend much time conversing with anyone, unless they were praising him before the entire room. Well, I have to go. See you later, Miss Darcy. Be seeing you. Okay, so he threw something away. Let's check and see if that's still there. Let's look over here. Okay, so look, this is the dustbin. Oh, my love's like a red, red nose. Yes, I remember that one. Sop. Oh, wait. Look at the, um, look at the paper. Let's see if it matches. That's rubbish. Oh, that's one that's weird. These match perfectly. It looks as though this note was torn from the poem Clement left in the tavern. If I hold it to the light, I can see the Pemberley watermark quite clearly on both pieces. Well, you know, that's really circumstantial. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that Clement had this note or that he wrote the note, but it does look really suspicious. And he could have just dashed it off on something that he had already written. So I don't know, that's, that really looks suspicious. I guess we could go ask him. I hate to do that, but. So we're back, and let's go back in, and I guess see if we can find anything else out. They almost never have anything to say. <laughs> All right, so, so let's see what we can find. Oh, look, we've got something else on our desk. Miss Darcy, 
Our groom says this is a shoe that Clement's horse threw the other day. He hopes you find that satisfactory. Martha. This is more puzzling than ever. Why would Clement have been at both that old mill and in Shepherd Forest where the holdup occurred? Perhaps he is looking into this also. Hmm. So, that was Clement's horse. So what does this mean? And that was his paper. I just, I don't understand what he's doing. It really looks bad for him, though. Let's go ask him. Let's see if there's something, if we're given a choice to ask him anything. Yes, cousin? Uh, can't ask oh, him anything. Oh, never mind. Well, I don't know how to talk to Mr. Radcliffe. If there's anything else we could look at. You know, let's head out to the lantern and just check everything out there and see if there's anything new. Because that's another place where there's been some suspicious activity. There's pretty grounds here. I just feel like you could run through the grass with your shoes off. All right, you wouldn't pick up a single sticker. Okay, let's go back up the stairs. How odd. I don't remember the steps squeaking. Huh. Okay, so why is that? Hmm. Okay, so the step is squeaking. There's something significant about that. see pretty clearly and there's, there's nothing going on right there right now there's that squeak it's so strange all right well let's go back into Pemberley You know, why don't we go back over to the lantern? There's something suspicious about that squeaking step. Let's see if we can see anything there when we go back. Let's see if it's still squeaking. And if it isn't, or it is, uh, we'll kind of go from there. But I just have a sense that there's something here that we should know. Okay, there's no squeak. So what does this mean? It was squeaking right around in here somewhere. What? Is this a piece of paper under this step? I wonder if this was put here to stop the squeak. This looks like one of Clement's poems. Finally, a good use for his genius. Ah, okay. Our woodlands, forests, hills, and plains. Oft have you heard my nineteen strains. But now nineteen for me remains, and these must go. And fray my e'en the seven rains mon ever flow. All right, so, hmm. You know, we've got another poem of, oh, look, it squeaks. Okay, so the piece of paper is what's keeping it from squeaking. Well, you know, let's, let's go. We've got these numbers on these papers. Let's go on over to the hunting lodge. We have to call our call and get our horse from Martha. But let's go on back over to the hunting lodge and see if we can enter some of these other numbers in the astrolabe and, and see if it tells us anything. Because I have to agree, it is curiouser and curiouser. All right, let's, let's go over here and let's call Martha. All right, so let's go get our horse and let's head over there to the, the hunting lodge and see if there's anything else over there. Because that does seem to be, um, does seem to be things happening there. Yeah, 
time to go through our beautiful garden. Ah, I see you are all ready, Kappa. All righty, let's head on over. And our next turn. All right, so we've already checked out the outside here. Let's go on in and kind of play with the astrolabe a little bit. You know, we could play with the one, I guess, in the library too, but I haven't noticed that we have much ability to do that. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can Using do. Using the information in this note, I should be able to adjust this astrolabe, and if I am correct. All right, so let's see what we have. We have now nature hangs her mantle green on the six blooming trees. Okay, we've got six blooming trees. Let's do six over here. And this one here was... This doesn't look right. Let's see what the next one said. Let me see 19 and 19. So 19 and 19. Okay, we've got this 19. doesn't look right. This date is tomorrow. I should reset the date on the astrolabe before I leave. I am going to put this note back and see what happens. This was at 23, and this was at 14. Okay, so that way no one knows we've come over here and messed with the astrolabe. All right, this looks probably as a good a place as any to take, you know, go ahead and end this episode. Things are starting to look really very much like Clement is seriously involved in this, and that's not good, but, you know, we know that he's kind of the one that's going to be inheriting everything so I don't even know why he would care and why would he be being abandoned I mean this makes no sense at all anyway we'll keep searching we'll keep trying to figure out what's going on here and thank you so much for joining me um, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye